Hello, sweet friends. My name is Birdie and I'm your friendly neighborhood forest witch. And in today's video, I have a witchy slash vintage haul. And oh my goodness, it is so good. One of the items is too big to fit in the screen, so I'm gonna save it for last, but you're definitely gonna wanna stay for the duration of this video because it is a gem of a find. So without further ado, let's get into this haul. So if you've been around my channel for a while, you'll know that I love books and reading. So anytime that I go shopping, I definitely check out the books. Well, this time I found some witchy books in the Barnes and Noble Clarence. So first up is Celtic Myths and Tales. I'm super excited about this. As you probably know, I love Ireland and anything dealing with the Irish culture. So I picked this up, can't wait to read it. And the MSRP price is 30 bucks, but as you can see, I picked it up for 12, so that is a great deal. And then to go along with that, I also found the Celtic Magic book and card deck. So I'm definitely excited to work with this deck. The MSRP price was $24.99. And this is what comes in it. So as you can see, I only bought it for 12 bucks. And then I also picked up the Illustrated Signs and Symbols source book, an A to Z compendium of over a thousand designs. And this thing is awesome. It is such a great resource for symbols. And if, if you wanted to learn you know, the significance of a certain bird or animal. They even have things about mermaids in here. So this is a great deal. And it doesn't say the MSRP price on here, but I picked it up for 20 bucks and that is cheaper than what it was on Amazon. So I figured that's a steal of a deal. And then I thought I had picked up all of the witchy magazines from Walmart that were out this year. However, I found a third one. So I was super excited. It's the Book of Witches Trivia. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to delve into this. Super excited and the pictures are just beautiful. Absolutely love these. So super excited about that. Then my neighborhood actually has two of the little free libraries where you can put books in, take books out, and it's all for free. So I frequent mine, you know, maybe at least once a week to see what's in there. Well, the last time I went, I found this book. It's The Teachings of the Mystics, Selections from the Great Mystics and Mystical Writings of the World. So I cannot wait to delve into this. I'm super excited. And then I also found some vintage books. Wait till you see this one. It is gorgeous. Now this isn't witchy, but you'll see why I picked it up. Look how beautiful this cover is. Holy cow, it's gorgeous. And it's how to make paper flowers and party decorations. This is so beautiful. So I picked it up initially for journaling, but I don't know if I'm gonna have the heart to tear it up because I wanted to turn this cover here into a journal cover and then use these beautiful pages for junk journaling, but I don't think I'm gonna have the heart to do it. However, it's got like a Valentine's Day vibe to it. So I might save it for Lupercalia and use it as decor. I'm not sure yet, but anyways. Then I also picked up the guide to Biltmore Estate. Now, I, me and my husband went here for our 10 year wedding anniversary and it's in North Carolina, I believe. I can't remember, it's in one of the Carolinas and it's absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. And the library, you know I love the library, but here's some of the pictures. This I believe 
was the men's den. And then this was inside and it's like a little garden fountain area inside the castle. When you first walk in, it's crazy. This here is an underground pool inside the house. I, I could not, I just could, and they have a bowling alley. Like get out of here. And these bedrooms, look how gorgeous this is. Our anniversary is in April. So we went when all the flowers were starting to bloom and it was so gorgeous. We stayed in a hotel that was actually on the grounds of the estate and it was just absolutely beautiful. So mainly I bought this as a decor piece and just as some memorabilia. But yeah, this was definitely a beautiful place. Then the last one I picked up is called The Mind. It's from Life and from the Science Library. And I am really into psychology and learning about the mind and mental health. So I thought this book would be really interesting to read, but also probably use for junk journaling as well because there are some beautiful vintage pictures in here too. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the heart to cut this one up either. <laughs> so if I don't, I will just put it in my office as decor. And then I also picked up some witchy items from Timu. So I'll show you some of those before we delve back into some vintage items. But this time in Timu, I picked up some canvas art and it's of these witch's boots with brooms and keys. Thought this would look gorgeous on my witchy gallery wall. I also picked up this one. It's a stack of books with a witch's hat and a candle. Thought that was really beautiful as well. And then if you saw my, it might have been my last Timu haul, I had bought this, I guess it's like a, a flag or some sort of material that drapes over your mailbox. And it was of a witchy picture of Salem. Well, I actually found it in a canvas print. So I picked that up as well. Absolutely love that. And then I also picked up this metal pillar candle holder. Now I have a couple of these that have the little loop here, but they are for candle sticks, not candle pillars. So that's why I picked this one up in particular. And it's actually really nice quality. It has some foam on the bottom so it won't slide around on your table. So really like that. And then I also picked up some witchy stickers. And wait till you see these. These are so freaking adorable. Look at these. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to be using these in my junk journaling, but also probably my book of shadows because they're just so stinking adorable. Absolutely love these. And I'm not sure how many came in this pack but there seems to be like a lot, like 25, 30. So yeah, pick those up, love those. And then I also picked up my first Yule decor of the season and it's this window hanger and it says Yuletide blessings. But the best part is, let me try to get rid of the glare for you. It's an Edwardian lady. Isn't she gorgeous? This is right up my alley absolutely love this cannot wait to hang this up and it's on both sides the design is so i'm really excited about that cannot believe i found that and then i also picked up a brooch so i found this one here with the sewing machine with the little danglies and i thought this would be really cute to charm as a uh, creative charm for any you know crafts that I'm doing, but absolutely love that. And then I also found this brooch as well. 
It's a little cameo piece. Absolutely love her. She is gorgeous. I thought she'd be pretty right here in the middle, like if I have a scarf on or a button down dress shirt. But yeah, she's beautiful. And then for my candle making, I also picked up some of these wooden wicks. So it comes with several of these wooden wicks. It also comes with the piece that you put the, the wick in, as well as some foam stickers to hold this piece down while you pour the wax so the wick doesn't move. And I can't remember how many wicks you get, but it looks maybe about 50 wicks in there. So cannot wait to use that. And then the last item I purchased from Timu is actually for my car. And if you've watched any of my videos about my car, I actually have crystals that I put into my vents, but I found this little witchy charm. So it still goes in your car on your dash or uh, your car door, but it's this adorable little cat on a broom. <laughs> And it has this little sticky backing. So you just take that off and stick it wherever you want. And you can hang things from here. So whether it be your phone charger cord, a mask, uh, keys, you can hang keys from this, or even maybe a trash bag, like a Walmart bag, you can hang from it as well. But I thought this was so adorable. So I picked that up as well. So now let's move on to some more vintage items. So I found this little herb rack and I thought this was adorable. I love the little design here. And this thing was only two bucks. Now, obviously it doesn't come with the, the little jars, but I have plenty of those. So I was thinking about either putting this in my kitchen or my altar room so you can hang it on the wall it has these little things on either side or i thought it would look cute just on the kitchen counter as well and then i picked up this piece and even though it's a little worse for the wear i absolutely love it so this part here is a chalkboard and this part here is a cork board and this was only six dollars so it can stand on its own if you wanted to put it on a desk or on your kitchen counter. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in my office or my kitchen yet, but you can also hang it on the wall as well. But I just love this. This is gorgeous. And then I also found this beautiful amber heart shaped bottle. I thought this would be perfect for Lupercalia and it's got the little cork in there. So I picked that up as well. And then I also found these miniature bottles. These are adorable. This one actually has a little tree on it and it says, let's see if I can read it. Straub haulers, Straub haulers? Elixir Tree of Life since 1880. Super cute and it has the little cork in it. And this little green one says celebrated remed, I think, but that has the cork as well. Then this yellow one with the cork and then this blue one that says root bitters. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? I absolutely love these. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use these for, you know, actual liquid yet or just decor, but they're absolutely adorable regardless. Then I also found this pretty little tassel. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but I just thought it was so gorgeous and it comes with this little key here. So I thought that was really magical and whimsical. So I'm not sure if I'm going to hang it around one of my curtains or just, you know, hang it up as a little charm or, you know, I could even lay it down somewhere as well. But 
I just thought that was so beautiful. And then I also found this gorgeous plate. So not only is it my favorite color green, but it also has a bird on there as well. And this is a pretty, a pretty decent size. Like this is bigger than a dinner plate, I would say. It's more of a serving plate size and it was only $2. So great deal. Then I also found some pieces that were already DIY'd and you'll see what I mean here, but they're little, I guess, Christmas houses that someone went ahead and painted black, which is perfect for my aesthetic. So I got this little cottage looking one and you're actually able to put a little uh, tea light in there. If you like, I would do a uh, flameless tea light for sure, but yeah, super cute. So I got that one. I also got this one, which actually comes with a light already in there, electrical light, but isn't this beautiful? And this one is Dickinson's keepsake. Oh, well novelty. So I, I don't know. Is that, is that a good brand? I mean, I know that they painted over it, but I, I love it. I absolutely love it. And then my favorite one by far is this. <gasps> Isn't this gorgeous? This is right up my alley. Absolutely love it. Now this one doesn't come with a light. However, you could definitely put a tea light in there, a flameless tea light and light that baby up and it is gorgeous. And then I bought a fourth one. However, this one isn't black. For whatever reason, they painted it pink. So I'm definitely going to have to paint this black because the pink just doesn't go with my decor. But this one also comes with an electrical light as well. But I just liked the silhouette of the house. And I thought it would look gorgeous with the other ones once I paint it black. Then last but not least is my gem of a find. And oh my goodness, I hit the jackpot. So I was in one of my local antique stores a while back and I came across this piece. It is a huge cauldron that someone has converted into a table. And so they have a wood piece on top and then on top of that have put a piece of glass. And the best part is you are able to take that wood and glass off and store things inside the cauldron. Now this thing was pretty pricey, I would say, but I had to have it. I had to have it here at the witch's cottage. It is gorgeous and it is now one of my favorite witchy pieces here at the witch's cottage. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe how lucky I was to find this, but if you wanted to recreate this, you definitely could. I mean, cauldrons this big that are cast iron like this one is, are pricey as is, but if you already have one or if you can find one, you know, decently priced on Facebook Marketplace, it would be super easy just to get a wood, a piece of wood from Lowe's, have them cut it down into the size that you need. You could stain it if you wanted to, and then you don't even have to put the piece of glass on there. But I like it because of Beltane's nails. I don't want her scratching up the wood. And I thought it would be really pretty to maybe do a witchy collage of pictures underneath, or a really nice witchy tablecloth or altar cloth. So then I can like interchange it per seasons and things like that. So I'm super excited about that. But that is my entire witchy slash vintage haul. I hope you all enjoyed it and found the items as beautiful and magical as I did. But thank you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks friends, bye.